morning. Good morning, Sus. I could not wait to see you in Vegas. We are going to laugh until our sides need a massage. <laughs> you know how you can laugh so hard then for so long that your sides get like tight? That's what we are all going to need after Vegas. Good morning, Mrs. Q. Ladies, it is Saturday morning and I have been up and out already. And now I need to get up and out again. I, am I the only person that like on the weekends, like when it's, I, there's some weekends that I cocoon and that I'm like at how, at the house. I may not even go out to get the mail. Good morning, Yvette. I may um, have groceries delivered or food delivered or I just eat on whatever I have here. Good morning, Carmen. Good morning, Rosalind. And then there are other weekends that I go out and stay out like all day. And then there are other weekends, particularly on Saturdays, where I feel like I make 50 million trips in and out of the house, back and forth, different places for whatever reason. That's the kind of Saturday I'm having. <laughs> so I've already been in and out once and um, I need to go out another time. And then I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm going to make a trip to coach today. I don't need to um, because I told DJ King um, I'm not shopping with her today. Sonja, uh, Kimberly, Mrs. Q. Sabrina, we've all said that we are done. Good morning, Mono's Beauty. We've said that we are taking a break from Dooney. Um, Valerie trailed the blaze and said that Dooney doesn't deserve her money. And we're going to get into some of the reasons during the sip and cuss why Dooney really does not deserve our money. So I'm going to start with the sip and cuss because I've already gone down that path. So I called to the outlets um, this week, actually two weeks ago now, to place an order for accessories because they were cheaper at the outlets because they were actually on clearance, good morning, Diane, than they were during the sale. Called an outlet, they had them. I could not place the order because their system was down. And this was the weekend of Memorial Day. So not exactly the best weekend to be doing a system upgrade or changes or maintenance for your shipping system to be down. But it was down. The store um, agreed to hold the items for me until the maintenance was completed with the system. And it was back up. And then they would call me, get payment information, and ship the items. Eight days later, they called and said that the system was back up. I still wanted the items because they were the colors and the price that I wanted. And I gave them my credit card information and they said they were going to ship the items out. Then I had a conversation with that doggone DJ King and realized, it, realized that I needed to add two more items to the three that I had already ordered and paid for the day before. So I called and asked them if I if my I if my order from the day before had shipped and they said yes and asked why and I said, "Well, I have two more items that I would like to add to that order so that I don't have to pay double shipping." Is there a way for me to do that? And the young lady said, well, if you're paying for them separately, technically we have to charge you shipping twice. And besides, your box has already shipped. And I said, okay. I was like, well, place those on hold because I need to really decide whether or not now I want to pay double shipping. So the next day, so now we're, we're 11 days from the initial call to this outlet. And it's not an outlet that I normally deal with. Matter of fact, this is an outlet that I have never ordered anything from. So um, 
So now we're 11 days in, and the next day, a young lady calls me and says, um, we're calling because our shipping system is back up, and we're calling to get payment information for your five items. What five items? Because... Three of those items I was already told was shipped at the time that I initially gave my credit card information. When I called back yesterday to add two more items to that box so that I only had to pay shipping once, I was told that box was already gone. I would have to pay $750 shipping again. Last two items on hold now. Um, and you're telling me that none of it has shipped and you need my credit card information again. So what happened with the piece of paper that y'all initially took my information down on? And when I started asking these questions of the essay, she said, the essay that you spoke to <laughs> yesterday was at the end of her shift. So she didn't process it. That's why I'm calling you. Y'all, I've never been close to hot lava. I've been close to hot grease and boiling water. And that's good enough for me. And that is what I felt running through my veins in that moment. Like, what the hell? Like, Y'all have now told me stuff shipped. It didn't. You've taken down my credit card information. You haven't run the card. And then maybe I'm the only one. Maybe it's, it's unique to this outlet because I haven't ordered from them before. But the young lady asked me, she said, um, okay, you have five items that we would be processing. Um, and she said... I just want to make sure that this is all that you want because we limit um, to 10 items per month on phone orders from Dooney, from the outlet. Have y'all heard that from any outlet? Because it blew my mind. Now, listen, I know that I cannot think of a time where I placed 10 items to ship from an outlet in the course of a month. Now, I have bought more than 10 items in a month at an outlet. But I've never been told that make sure <laughs> you got everything you want because this is going to be a total of five items. And we limit you to 10 for the month. So just make sure because you're reaching your cap for us to ship to you for the month of September. Really? Really? Like, I'm, I've, I have dealt with nearly all nearly all of the Dooney and Burke outlets, nearly all. And on my bucket list, it um, I'm pretty close to having visited all of them. But I have never been told that you can't order but 10 items per month from the outlet store. Never been told that before. And they told me this in the midst of me getting a box that looked like some high school football team had used it for the punter to practice on. Y'all, I was so freaking pissed. I didn't film it. I took, I snapped one picture. Haven't posted it on Instagram or anything because I, I'm just, oh, I'm so, let me tell you. So I'm going to digress for just a minute. I am not one of those women that cries in a professional setting. Now I will sit here and watch a Hallmark movie or a Lifetime movie 
or this is us or heck even criminal minds or the black you you pick something and i will sit and watch tv and cry i can cry on command when it comes to things that are on like tv and holiday commercials and stuff like that but i don't cry at work and let me tell you if you see me shed one single tear at work you should clear a path because it is not because i'm sensitive it is not because you have hurt my feelings it is because i have literally seen my life flash before my eyes and i know life as i know it will be no more because i'm gonna have a criminal uh background check issue going forward you run my background check i can pee in anybody's cup anytime day or night i'll ever worry about those kinds of things from an employment standpoint but if you catch me crying at work, it is because I know that I am about to go to jail because y'all have pissed me off that bad that I am just at a point where it's like, you know what? It's worth it. I am going to tear some shit up and I will just have to deal with the consequences later. And in that moment, when that box came, I felt like I was at work about to shed a tear. That is just how angry I had gotten with the level of service. Because here's the thing. It doesn't matter whether that bag was $99 or $79 on sale or whether it was a $39 or $199 bag or accessory. The fact is, Dooney set that price. They set that price. They determined that whatever the sale, the discount, whatever it was that they were offering, that it was worth that price, that they were willing to accept that amount of money in exchange for that product or good being shipped. And they say that they're going to ship it for free, which is fine. Everybody else that's in e-commerce has triggers for free shipping, and, and Dooney should have the same. They're, in my opinion, they're not exempt from that. But... When they ship something like it came from Dollar Tree or Dollar General or sometimes even less than that, like it was a thrifted item, and I have suffered through work and travel and TSA and the BS that comes with work in order to make the money to send to you in exchange for that item that you set the price on, it makes me want to tear up some stuff. So there will be no unboxing of those items because I took the boxes because thank God it was trash night and took every single one of them to the curb because the more I looked at them, the more my blood pressure rose and the angrier I got, oh my goodness, in looking at those purchases and the money that I have spent with them. And the fact that they have complete and utter disregard for their customers in this in this space, it drives me crazy. If y'all are going to ship, purchase boxes, first quality boxes, and ship them with the product in it with proper padding or foam peanuts or air paper or stuffing, do not send me your recycle boxes that shipped to you from Italy or China or Korea or California with your product in it. Don't ship my bag in the same box that the outlet received its inventory in because that box already has plenty of miles on it. I do not want my stuff shipped in a recycled box. Particularly because you're shipping it from California, which makes absolutely no sense. Nobody, nobody ships product from California. They just don't. Logistically, from a supply chain and logistics standpoint, it makes absolutely no sense for Dooney to ship items from California. It makes more sense to have a distribution center in Nashville because Nashville is like within 12 hours of 75% of the country. 
that means quicker ship times for that free shipping. Why do you think Nissan moved its headquarters from California to Nashville? Why do you think Amazon has so many hubs for shipping in the Midwest and particularly in Nashville? Middle Tennessee, because it's geographically central to virtually the entire country. It makes no sense, no sense for bags to be shipping from California, especially in recycled boxes. It just doesn't make sense. My box should not arrive looking like a football team's punter used it for practice. My box should not look like it was, was it, it, it arrives in need of surgery when it gets here. It, there's no reason. And y'all know, if you've been with me for any amount of time, I want you to think about the um, leaf green large Carrington that I purchased that ended up being lost and found and traced. And when I got it, the doggone tassel was literally hanging on the outside of the box. Now, some will say that that is on UPS and on FedEx. You know what? There is a little bit of that that UPS and FedEx do own because they are responsible for that purchase, that box in transit. But what I will tell you is that when you don't buy crappy boxes, when you aren't recycling boxes, like Coach, like um, MCM, like Macy's, like Dillard's, like Belt, like Nordstrom, when you use a first quality box, then that box is structured to be able to endure some of the abuse that it would sustain during transport to you. But when you are already using a weak, reuse, restruct, it, it, that box is not built for a 3,000 mile trip from California to Georgia. It's that, bo that box has already reached the end of its life cycle because I have yet to receive a box from Walmart, from Target, from Macy's, from Nordstrom, from Dillard's, from Belk, from Coach, from MCM, from any place else that looks like it has been tackled on a football field. I mean, just virtually destroyed. Let me give you an example. I'm going to just give you a little example. You see this little box right here? This is a first grade box, meaning it's not, it hasn't been reused from somewhere. And this box, where did this one come from? <laughs> it shipped from California. There goes my philosophy. It shipped, it shipped from California, but it does not look like it has been beat all to hell. But this is a MCM. I'm, I'm sorry, this is a MK box. This is an MK box. And Y'all have to be careful when y'all showing these labels on um, the, it is the internet. It is the internet. You do not want your information visible. And even though I've covered it, I'm still going to cover it. What you see right there? California CA. But look at the tape on here. I want you to look at the tape. know what I don't know what Dooney is doing with their tape but they need to find another manufacturer because that tape is not working 
or forget the the security tape and give me just some good old tape that's got some good threading and webbing that's gonna actually hold on to the box because I would imagine that this box was probably safe because it has no markings on it that say that this is an MK box. None, right? So there's no temptation for the thief at the post office, at UPS, at FedEx to go into this box because it simply says it's coming from a fulfillment center. As far as they know, it could be contact solution. Right? So the the DB tape, I'd rather y'all spend that money and put a little bit of extra padding in there instead of paying for that doggone useless security that doesn't secure anything. So that's where I stand on that. <sighs> they are not good for my blood pressure, therefore I need a break. I had to bust this open to get into it because there was no lifting of But it held my box from California. So last um, Sunday, Sunday, this past week, Feed Your Addiction, I started down, with, you know, we had five topics to talk about for organization, tips for organizing your accessories. And I kept saying that I was going to come back to something, come back to something, and I never made it back to it. But what I wanted to tell you is that when we were in Strap Frenzy, remember I didn't go back and cover that? There was a web strap from MK that was releasing during the time that we were in strap frenzy. And it was both a black and an admiral blue web strap because Dooney hasn't offered a blue web strap. They've got like, uh, like a ginger color, a natural and a black. But if you were interested in the admiral blue web strap they were regular 68 dollars i think when we were all buying straps and we kind of decided hmm, when you got straps for three five seven and ten paying 68 dollars in the moment doesn't make a lot of sense um co um mk is having a sale this weekend i have not checked to see if the strap was included in, in, in the additional markdowns. But this 68 Admiral Blue web strap that can be used on plenty of different bags is now being has been now been marked down to $10 on MK.com. So MichaelCores.com. If you just go onto the site and type in strap, go down and search through the straps. There is an Admiral Blue, which is Navy, replacement strap with gold hardware that has been marked from $68 down to $10. So if you need a strap, this would be great on like your court knees, if you want to put it on a Newport tote, if you were looking to make your medium or small satchels a bit more casual, or us having a soft strap on them to use them as a crossbody. This is absolutely perfect. And with the addition of this one, that means I am now up to 50 straps, which means I need to go back and get another over the door hook so that I can divide my straps up on um, the back of the door, on that over the door hook. So thank you, Bad Crazy. Bad Crazy says the entire MK site is an additional 25% off. And I believe I recall Mrs. Q saying that last night now that I'm thinking about um, For Real Friday. But it is adjustable. So whether you want to use it as a short bag strap or whether you want to lengthen it and use it as like a crossbody strap, this is an option. If you have like a, um, is it the Weekender? Um, yeah, the Weekender has a web strap. So if you had like a Cabriolet version and wanted to swap it out, this would absolutely work and give you another dark strap option. Because y'all know I will talk about you if you got that khaki strap and it looks like it needs to go to the cleaners. Because if it looks like it needs to go to the cleaners, you either need to spot clean it wash it or take it to the cleaners and let let them 
uh, deal with it so that it does not look nasty. But it is Admiral Blue webbing guitar strap. But if again, if you go to mk.com, michaelkors.com, type in strap in the search option, it should be there for $10. It was $68 when we were all in strap frenzy. All right. So, <clears throat> there are some uh, accessories, and I am really, really still in the thick of trying to get my accessories organized, and I have been working on it for the last two weeks. I'm going to work on it a little bit more today, and uh, then I'm going to start working on um, bags. So I have several bags around here that have accessories in them. And as I've been going through accessories, I've kind of started consolidating bags. So now I don't know what I got from where, how long I've had it, but I want to share these with you so that I can go ahead and start organizing, especially my coach accessories, because Duny, for the most part, is done. So I definitely want to move on to getting my coach accessories organized. All right. So you may recall me sharing these items with you from coach, particularly to go with the Coco Clara um, from MCM. And I put up a little poll in the video, and most people agreed that the strawberry accessory options were the best. Well, as soon as I posted that video, I remembered that I had a 22 cosmetic case, which is my favorite size um, of cosmetic from Coach. I have a couple of the, I've got one, I think of the smaller ones and it just really it just doesn't hold a lot for me so now i have this complete set and i'm not sure whether i'm going to need to order another set of um little shoebox totes to organize some of my coach accessories or whether i'm going to use the larger bins that i picked up at Target. but if you missed out on these, then you missed out because this I think will go great with leaf because it does have green in there. It's gonna pair well with um, strawberry, um, like your strawberry Florentine bags. It would be a little dull, but I would pair it with red and or the color tomato from, uh, you, you know, with your Dooney bags. You can also use it with ecru or bone or even white. If you have orange, it would be a stretch, but I would put it with orange. What I'm not sure I would put it with is salmon. So one of the purchases, um, and all I've gotten in so far from Dooney in these jacked up boxes have been my Florentine pieces that I've added, and I have not been... I've only been pleased with one of the bags that arrived just based on the way it arrived and it shipped, but it is in the color salmon. And that salmon is so not the original salmon. I mean, they should have just completely named that one something different. I don't know how many of you remember um, a few summers back in the Alto line at Dooney, there was a bag series um, or color series in the color tangerine in alto and it was almost like a safety cone orange if you haven't seen that color i have an old video of an evelina in um the color tangerine it is a gorgeous color but the salmon is not even close to that um, and it's nowhere close to the original salmon. The original salmon was almost like a peach, like a cross between nectarine, like a rich, gorgeous nectarine color and a peach. That's what the original salmon looked like 
This other one is really bright and it's not a salmon color. It's almost to me an electric orange or an electric I don't know. But it was it's super bright, but I don't think that this will go with it. Matter of fact, unless I purchase salmon accessories from Dooney, which is not likely to happen based on their shipping right now. Um, I will just have to kind of create a color story to match with that bag. So, but I thought that this was really fun. I love the fact that it has the card slots and the divider and some free space and a wristlet strap and it just works. I would prefer, I think, the wristlet strap on this size or even the larger size Carrington style. I would prefer the wristlet strap over that doggone large, exaggerated tassel that is on the large Carrington. Because in the top of my Russell right now, between the tassel that is on Alice, and the tassel that is on the large Carrington, there's a whole lot of tassel going on in my bag. To the point that I'm ready to take scissors. Yes, M's clutch life. <laughs> I'm ready to take scissors and just cut it off. I was going to take it to a cobbler and let them do it. But they're going to do basically the same thing. And I can figure out how long is long enough or how short is short enough and cut those down because it is just in my way. It doesn't have a wristlet strap. It's on the zipper pull. So I, I need to study it a little bit and see if there's a way to get those off and, you know, maybe put a an O-ring or a, a, a key ring loop through it in order to be able to use it as like a bag charm. But oh, I'm going to give that a try, Ems. I, I am going to do that first. But I again, I still don't know what I would need a tassel that big for even as a bag charm. Because it is ginormous. Alright, so a couple of other things that I picked up. I really, really, really wanted Coach to expand on this little cutie. I love, I, I have no clue what I'm going to do with this size because it's the single zip or um, the corner zip wristlet as opposed to the wallet. I was really, really, really hoping that they would have come out with this print in this, but I never saw it. But I love the little sunglasses and all of the different colors and the fact that, you know, whether it is apricot or apricot, maybe this is still not going to go with salmon. But I could mix this with a couple of different things if I wanted to throw it in with yellow accessories or red or um, silver gray or blue, that this was perfect for it. But they didn't. They came out with um, a boxy cosmetic case, which is huge and I just don't have a use for that in my collection. It only has two card slots here on the side so I don't know how I would use it when or if you know what I would put in it to make it functional but I was at the post office when I was mailing some stuff to DJ King a couple weeks back and there was a young lady Spellman grad um that had a coach wristlet and that's all she had. She was mailing a package and I had to resist. But what I really wanted to ask her was, what exactly do you have in your wristlet? Because I'm trying to figure out whether I am missing out on some gorgeous prints and um, accessories from coach in this style and size because I'm just, it's not as large as what I would like it to be. I know I don't want it like full of like paper and receipts. I want it to be functional, but two card slots, I struggle with that. So it makes me 
think that, you know, high schoolers, maybe kids in college that really only have like their ID and maybe one debit card or one credit card works perfectly for them. But for real grown women, <laughs> you know, the ones that have mortgages and stuff, this is this. I struggle with this. And I've been told, hey, just use it as a tech case. I just don't feel like I want to use it as a tech case. I want to use it as like a wallet of some sort. And I haven't figured that out yet. But for those of you um, that were interested in this one, I'll give you the coach item number, but this was a while ago, so the only place you may find it is Clarence, if that. But it's F is in Frank 73451, and it's the color code is called Light Coral Multi, and it is the Sunglass Corner Zip. Again, F is in Frank, 73451, sunglass corner zip. All right. And it was it's, it's suggested retail price of $78. I think I paid, it was like $25 on sale, and they were having like an additional 20% off or $25. So I paid less than $25 bucks for it. All right. The next thing that I found at Coach on, um, and I, I don't know, um, and I'm just going to say this, DJ King, I lied, I do have one in chalk. Uh, I didn't realize that. She asked me a question um, earlier today, and I was like, no, I don't have that. She was like, yes, you do. And I was like, mm, I don't think so. You got it. I don't think I got it. I got it. All right, so you have seen on my channel um, the Coach Travel Wallet, right? You've seen these before, red, black, navy. I think I have one in signature with the Oxblood trim. During the same time that I started purchasing these, I discovered the Double Corner Zip wallet from coach and I fell in love I fell in love because my phone would fit it had plenty of card space it had a wristlet strap and I went double corner zip wallet crazy I had been looking for one in red the red did not exist coach must have heard my prayer because they released a red one, and as soon as I got mine, it showed sold out. And I have not seen it restock on their site. That one will be featured in a later video, just a regular upload. But I went a little neutral color crazy because I didn't want to miss any of them. Um, this item is currently available on clearance in the color block stores with like the military green and white, and then the pink with white, I think, and maybe a black and white. I just don't like the idea of the color blocking in this particular item, so I did not get those as much as I would love to add a couple more to my collection. But I did get a chalk white one that will go with my Ecru with anything I want I guess because they're my card slots and then on the back side it works for my phone and coins if I want to put them in there and travel receipts and anything else that I want to put in here so I picked this one up in chalk and this is um, this is like the cross hatch so basically I guess Safiano and then I picked up another one, and this one is in the color Light Saddle. And it looks a little bit different. Same functionality, but it is a little bit different silhouette. So this one is Light Saddle. This one is in Chalk. 
And then I have another one that I picked up in Beechwood. And I think this is Beechwood. I don't know why I became obsessed with Beechwood. Maybe because it's like the perfect neutral. Yep, Beechwood. But I love this color. It is not really a khaki, but it doesn't have any pink undertones. And just so that you can kind of see the color difference. So this is Beechwood. This is Light Saddle. And this is the chalk. This is like one that I could see me moving into. And regardless of which bag I'm carrying, just move this one from one bag to the next, to the next, to the next, and just count it as a neutral. Now, it would probably not appear unless it matched in any of the um, curate your closet pictures that we post on Instagram, but it would secretly be hiding someplace in my bag. So... Beechwood, Light Saddle, and Chalk. And again, the Chalk one is a little bit longer, but not quite as tall as the other one. So I'll give you the, um, the style number if you are calling or looking at Coach. Let me see. Does it have it in? Okay, so for the light saddle style, it's F as in Frank, 87587. Again, F as in Frank, 87587. And then the chalk one, which is a different style, is F as in Frank, 73200. F is in Frank, 73200. So if you're looking for any of those, that is the difference between the item number and then, of course, the numbers that follow behind are significant with the color. So you'll have to um, explore the colors. And then the last thing that I'm going to show you today is a... Um, it is a little cosmetic bag. It is in the color Midnight Multi, and it has a chevron print. And I'll give you the item number on it, but I thought that this would work from a cosmetic bag standpoint or as even as a smaller catch-all. It is a smaller, boxy cosmetic. I like it because if I'm using any color solids, I can pull my lavenders or blues or blacks or yellows or greens or corals or um, rose, uh, rose petal to pull solid accessories to match with this. And it would tie in and give a little bit of interest to that color so just because i have this one close let me see it pulls that color not a lot on the back but you can see it would work if you recall the little yellow corner zip um wristlet that i showed during the color stories during last week's feed your addiction it would work if you recall the little green um, pouches that I pulled out from MAC. They would work with this and some of the other. So I just really like this one. This was absolutely on clearance. And I think I ended up paying... Um, let's see. It was regular $128. It was marked down to $122.99, which is not a great sale price in my opinion. But I ended up, I think, paying $21 for this. I'm almost certain I paid $21. And it has zipper top, navy interior, and one snap pocket on the front wall. So front wall, snap pocket. 
So, I like it. I love it. And it's item number F is in Frank, 67554. And this one is in Midnight Multi. There were, I think, two more color stories. It was like a black and white or blue and white. And then there was another one that I felt like the colors just didn't really make sense on it. Um, or they just wouldn't work for me. But again, it's item number F is in Frank, 67554. And I love it. I almost wish that this didn't have the little sunglasses on it because it would have paired perfectly with it as well. But that's a little busy. Just a little busy. All right, y'all. That's all I have until I can dig um, a couple more things out so I can kind of do a, another collective haul of things that I have picked up from coach um as i have spent some time sorting through my accessories one thing is clear to me when i look at what i have picked up from other brands and accessories versus what i have picked up from Dooney, i have far more variety in color in size in style in function in other brands than I do in Dooney. And y'all know this is not me, you know, changing my position because if you recall, I had long since fallen out of love with Dooney's accessories, right? The Continental wallet has not worked for me in a very long time. The Slim wallet, although I love that wallet and carry it a very long time, it was not functional for my life because it constantly had nine zillion receipts that I needed to file for work hanging out of it. It just was not conducive. And that's when I fell in love with the um, Michael Kors Jet Setter and that Continental Zip Around wallet because it had a ton of card organization, great organization for all of my accessories. It kept everything together, place for me to keep my ID without me having to struggle to get it in and out. It, it had a wristlet strap. It was just perfect. Um, so I have, I, I've got Dooney bags. That I have for days. But when I look at my accessories, and I have a lot of, I have a lot of Dooney accessories. But the ones that I really, really love are like the Carringtons and the card cases because they make sense. They work for my lifestyle. I know many of you were, um, in love with Tatum and Millie. My tribe sister Kim has tried many a time to talk me into Millie, um, but my phone doesn't fit in Millie. And my, because my phone doesn't fit in that wristlet, it doesn't work for me and the way I would intend to use it. But it's a perfect, it is a perfect um, accessory for her and she loves Millie. My tribe sister, Sonja, loves Millie. I have seen many of Millie at great price points and would love to get on the Millie bandwagon, but I know me spending my money on that is not going to be good because it, my phone's not going to work. And Tatum, I like the idea of Tatum. I do. Um, but I know for the number of receipts that I can accumulate in a two- or three-day time period, let alone a 30-day period until I sit down to do expense reports, that's not going to be conducive for the number of receipts that I carry. Um, and to me, it kind of defeats the purpose of me having those extra zippers, slip pockets, and not being able to use them. And then it starts to kind of feel, not sure, but I'm blaming it on AT&T because they are usually the culprit. And now I've completely lost my train of thought trying to get the connection back up. But anyway, um, I apologize for the technical difficulties. On that note, I am going to go play in my accessories and make my second exit um, out to run some errands. I hope that as you are organizing your accessories um, during the Feed Your Addiction last week, because 
as my tribe um, sister Sabrina 1971 shared in text this week um, that as she's been able to get things organized in her color story boxes she now sees where she has gaps in colors in her accessories and where she really needs to focus and that has been a focus point for me as well i see where the gaps are and now instead of just mindlessly shopping the way i have been being able to fill in the gaps where i have um holes so to speak in my collection so i hope that however you have decided to organize your accessories um that you are able to lay eyes on all of them in an organization system that works for you so that you really can see what you have and be able to mix and match and whether you have made the decision that you are going to um, cluster or group or store similar items together or whether you are going to um, build you know these color stories or some other style of organization whatever you decide to do I hope that it makes you feel good about what you've accumulated and will also help you to make um, strategic purchases or or that you will consider taking uh, a visit to Bag Ban Island and enjoy what you have as you organize and see what you have. Maybe this is also a time when you realize that there are some things that just absolutely are not going to work for you and you make the decision that you are going to purge them and you know either hold on to the money or maybe spend that money on things that will work better for you in your collection. So however that pans out for you, I hope you have fun doing it and that I hope that um, as you are done, you feel good about what you've acquired and even better about your organization system and that you feel really good about playing in your accessories, switching out your bags, uh, curating your closet so that you get more use out of the pieces that you do have. So thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this edition of Tribe Time. Uh, stay tuned next week. Um, I'm not sure whether it's going to be uh, Kimberly Mines or whether we are going to be on Mrs. Q's channel, but we will let you know that on Friday night at 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central on Mrs. Q's channel during For Real Friday. I will be back at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 Central for Feed Your Addiction. Make sure that you're checking out the content of my tribe sisters because there is a lot of really, really good new content out there. Hope that you are communicating in the live chat. Hope that you are participating in the comments and enjoying uh, this community even when we are not sitting together in a live chat. So thank you so very much for watching. Until next time. I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.